All right, welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode number 652. The category is the Autumn Trivia Challenge. This is ATC number 14. These are the 21 question trivia quizzes with questions from various different categories at various different levels of difficulty. There are 20 questions at the beginning with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end if you need to stick around for that. Good luck. Question one, what is the French word that denotes buildings as diverse as medieval fortress, a Renaissance palace, and a fine 19th century country house? That word is a chateau. Question two. What is the literary trope or figure of speech generally considered a type of metaphor in which an inanimate object or abstraction is given human qualities or abilities? The answer is a personification. Question number three. A favorite food of the panda, what species of grass is used in paper, fuel, construction material for homes, and furniture, and can grow at the rate of sometimes more than a foot a day? The answer is bamboo. Question number four. The American states of Montana, South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, Utah, and Idaho all border which other northwestern U.S. state? The answer is Wyoming. Question number five. What is the name of the Pennsylvanian artist whose famous works of art include Trodden Weed, Mega's Daughter, Night Shadow, and Christina's World? The answer is Andrew Wyeth. Question number six. What Italian sculptor painter and poet was the chief architect of St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome and the painter of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. The answer is Michelangelo. Question number seven. Generally shaped like a funnel, these are created either when land sinks or when the sea level rises. What do we call this valley at the mouth of a river where fresh water and seawater mix? That is known as an estuary. Question number eight. What is the seven letter word that fits all three descriptions? The former name of the Grijalva River, a state in Mexico, and a hot Louisiana liquid condiment. The answer for all three of those is Tabasco. Question number nine. Popular in the ancient Roman world, what type of art is a pattern or image made of small, irregular pieces of colored stone, glass, or ceramic covering a surface, usually as a wall or floor decoration? That is known as a mosaic. Question number 10. What is the name of the Aztec god of life? light and wisdom, lord of the day and the winds, and ruler of the west that is sometimes represented as a feathered serpent, sometimes as a bearded man. The answer 
is Quetzalcoatl. Question number 11. On what famous statue does the last stanza of the poem, The New Colossus, begin with, Give me your tired, your poor, and ends with, I lift my lamp beside the golden door. That famous statue is the Statue of Liberty. Question number 12. In what Gilbert and Sullivan comic opera from 1885 do the characters Yum Yum, Poobah, Pishtush, and Pity Sing appear? The answer is the Mikado. Question 13. What American author is known for short stories and novels such as The Beautiful and the Damned, Tender is the Night, and The Great Gatsby? The answer is F. Scott Fitzgerald. Question 14. What is the term used for the light waves that are outside the visible spectrum at its violet end and are used in photography and tanning? If it exceeds the spectrum at the violet end, it's called ultraviolet. Question 15. In progress since 1948, the likeness of what Sioux Indian chief of the 19th century, one of the leaders at the Battle of Little Bighorn, is currently being carved into a mountainside in South Dakota. That Indian chief is Crazy Horse. Question 16. What Irish Nobel Prize winning author wrote in both French and English and is best known for his plays, especially 1953's Waiting for Godot. The answer is Samuel Beckett. Question 17. Her twelfth novel, what was the name of the author of The Age of Innocence? who, in 1921, became the first woman ever to win a Pulitzer Prize. The answer is Edith Wharton. Question 18. Shakespeare's play about the star-crossed lovers Romeo and Juliet tells the story of their two rival families who live in which Italian city? The answer is Verona. Question number 19. What is the common name for the scientific health problem that is also called nephroliths or renal calculus? The more common name for renal calculus is kidney stones. And question 20. The tilt of the Earth's axis accounts for our four seasons. What natural phenomenon does the gravitational pull of the moon account for? The gravitational pull of the moon accounts for the ocean's tides. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. You may have heard my phone go off a couple of times during this trivia quiz. I'm trying to record this in between the commercials of the Buffalo Bills versus Kansas City Chiefs football game. And 
everybody from back home is texting me, blowing me up, because I'm from Kansas, but I love Buffalo. So all my friends who are Kansas City Chiefs fans keep texting me, and my phone is just dinging, and I'm, it's 2 in the morning now, 2.30 in the morning, so I need to make sure that it stays on so I don't miss my alarm. But uh, I'm trying to, in between the commercials and my phone dinging, I'm trying to record these questions. So hopefully it wasn't too distracting. Hopefully you enjoyed this quiz. And hopefully you know the answer to question number 21, the tiebreaker for today. The body of an insect is divided into three parts. The head, the thorax, and the what? The three parts of an insect are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. At least that's what I looked up. So the answer that I've got is the abdomen. Tomorrow's episode will be number 653. It's another autumn trivia challenge with 21 random questions. I will see you then.